friends, can you guys believe it? The temperatures are heating up. Everyone's getting outdoors and having fun. And this year is a good year to celebrate summer with crafts. I'm Lynn Lilly from Craft Box Girls, and I'm so excited because today I'm going to share with you three awesome crafts to kick off summer that your kids can make. And guys, you can keep your kids busy with these. So to get started, we are going to make craft tube fireflies. And before we get started, I'd love to know who's watching. So give me a shout in the comments. Tell me where you're watching from. And if you've got any questions, let me know. We'll do our best to answer them quickly. Okay, so here's what you need. A craft tube. You can cut it down to size. Um, and you can really make your firefly as big or as small as you want. So I've got my craft tube here. This is a standard size. And what I did was I actually cut out what is going to be the belly of my firefly because fireflies have bellies. It's actually, I think, their bottom that glows, I was told earlier, but we're gonna call it their belly and have their belly glow. So we went ahead and cut out that almost like elongated U shape. And then you can keep this handy because you're going to want to cut a piece of black construction paper and then use your cutout piece to measure um, and cut out a hole there. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this around to make the base of our firefly. And I'm just gonna use some of my washable glue here. Um, you can also use a glue stick as well. Whatever you have handy works. So put a little right there. And we're gonna glue that and hold it in place for just a second. All right, are you guys crafting for summer? What crafts are you making with your kids? I know all of you probably have all these Crayola products at home that I'm using, the glue, the markers, all the fun stuff. Tell me in the comments what crafts you're making with your family, and who knows, you may inspire someone else that's watching. Okay, so we covered it with our black. Now what we wanna do is I went ahead and cut out a piece of yellow. So I again used this, but I made it much larger because we're gonna glue it on the inside and I wanted to make sure that I had a good enough base on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue around the edges and then we're gonna slip this on the inside of our opening. And if your glue oozes out over, you can just wipe it with your finger. So we get it in place. And you wanna make sure that it look, kinda lines up as best as possible with the bottom and just like that. And then I'll just use my finger to wipe away any of the excess. Okay, so we're almost done with our body. Now our firefly needs a face. So I went ahead and cut out a circle out of black construction paper. And then I've got my white crayon. Guys, I know that a lot of people forget about the white crayon, but it works really awesome on black construction paper. So I'm gonna make just a little mouth. You can also draw your eyes on, or if you have googly eyes, you can also put googly eyes on here, but um, the white crayon would work just as well to draw them. Who catches fireflies outside? That was one of my favorite things to do as a kid. You get your jar, you catch your fireflies, you watch them glow, and then you let them go at the end of the night. I don't know. It was one of my favorite things to do as a kid, so that's why I was really excited about this craft. All right, so I'm gluing the head of my firefly on right now. Okay, our firefly needs some wings. So out of white construction paper, you can cut kind of two teardrop shapes that have kind of a flat edge to make your wings. And we're gonna glue these two together first. And then we're gonna go ahead and glue them onto the back of our firefly. And you're gonna see how cool this is to make our firefly glow. And once you put them on there, the glue will still be wet. So you can kind of adjust as you want your wings to kind of stick out from the back. So just kind of get them where you want before you let your glue set. All right, now we're gonna make some antennas and some feet. I have no idea if fireflies actually have legs or feet or whatever, but in my world, they will. <laughs> um, so what I did was I took some pipe cleaners and just bent them. So they're about like two inches, just bent them and we're gonna put two on each side. All right, and if you guys are just tuning in, welcome. I am Lynn Lily, and we are making crafts to kick off summer. And our first craft is a glow firefly, which you guys are gonna be amazed at how it glows in just a second. So we put our feet there, and you'll need to let this obviously dry before you play with it, so keep that in mind and let the glue dry. 
Okay, then let those in place. We're going to take some yellow pipe cleaner to make antennas. So what I did was at the end, I just took my little pinky and bent my pipe cleaner over it. You can do the same thing using a pencil as well to just kind of curl the edges. And we're gonna glue those to the inside of our, and I can kind of switch it around so you guys can see it. Kind of need him to stay in place so he dries. But we're gonna go ahead and put those right on the inside and then our firefly is ready. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. I've got one that's dry, so check out this guy. How cute is he? Now, what I did on the inside was take a tea light. So this is a tea light left over from Halloween. You can use any electric tea light. You turn it on, you can set it inside of there, or you can also use like an industrial glue to glue it on the inside. So if you wanna fly it around and play with it, you'll wanna glue it on there. And they have the switch on the bottom so you can turn it on and off and they look so cool at night guys are you ready to see what they look like we're gonna turn the lights off in the studio all right rachel you're gonna flip those lights hold on i'm gonna get these so you guys get the full effect of how cool the fireflies look so and these are twinkling um tea lights so they kind of twinkle you can get regular ones that just light up but how fun is that you can take it outside and you can fly it around do you guys like it tell me in the comments if you like it I would love to hear your feedback. All right, we'll get our lights on and go to craft number two. All right, so we've got our fireflies ready to go play outside at dusk. Now, let's talk about vacations. So, some people are going on beach vacations. Some are not going on vacations this year, but that doesn't mean you can't have fun and celebrate a beach vacation at home. So, we are going to make mini beach dioramas. Now, I'm gonna show you how, uh, an example of a big one too, but this is really fun. So if you're not going to the beach this year, get your kids to imagine their favorite parts of the beach and they can create their own scene. If you are going to the beach, this is a fun activity for them to do once you get home to keep them busy and they can kind of relive all the fun that they had at the beach by creating this diorama. Okay, so what you need to get started is this is just a um, terracotta pot bottom. So this kind of is where the pots sit in, it catches the water. So use one of these. You can use as big or as small as you want, depending on how big you want your diorama to be. I use my blue acrylic paint to paint it. So um, you can use washable paint as well. You just may want to do like one or two more coats. Acrylic paint, I got this done in one coat. Let it dry, dries on terracotta super fast. Um, so once we've got that, we are going to have some fun with Model Magic. Who loves Model Magic? You guys, I love Model Magic. I'm like the adult that loves, and so does my husband. We like had a weekend. I think if you guys are longtime followers, you probably have seen the video. This was like probably two months ago. I gave him a shout out. He did a whole beach scene that was like this big. So we love Model Magic in our house. <laughs> my daughter likes it too, but my husband and I really like it. So we're going to make some things to go in our beach diorama. We're going to start by making a crab. And, you know, this is kind of our own, like, little imaginary crab. But we're going to roll a ball. And I'm using my red Model Magic. Model Magic comes in all different colors. If you only have white, you can always paint your Model Magic, too. Keep that in mind. So I rolled them in a ball. And I'm kind of trying to form it like a football. So it kind of gets that almost, like, oval-like shape. And you can make it as big as you want. But keep in mind, like, based on how big your little dish is, then we need some legs. So I went ahead and rolled out some of my little legs and I'm gonna go ahead and put those just by kind of lightly pressing them on the back. And the nice part about Model Magic is it will air dry. So just let it sit out for a few hours and it will be dry. So we're gonna put, we're gonna start with three on each side. Um, I don't know, how many legs do crabs actually have? Hope is behind the camera guys. Give Hope a shout out. Um, we are back in the Craft Box Girls studio. Um, so my husband's job of filming is currently over. <laughs> um, but Hope, do you know how many legs a crab has? I don't know. It might depend on the species, maybe. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, oh, we've got Rachel is in the studio about to Google how many legs a crab has. Okay. Well, so in my land, it's going to have three. I like to make things up. It's going to have three legs, but then it's going to have a leg with some pinchers. So really, I guess that's going to be four um, on each side, which would make a total for eight. So... I'm gonna put those on the front, another little leg part 
on the front and they have 10 legs. Okay, so mine lost a few in a crab fight, um, but that's okay. He is my own little imaginary crab. Um, so, you know, it's pretend you can do it however you want. Okay, then I made my little pinchers. All I did was just take the same um, width that I rolled out and I just made a little smaller and folded it over. So I'm gonna put those right on the end there. It's got some pinches. And has anyone seen a crab live? I have not, like out in on the beach, I have not. Never? Never, I've never been on the beach and saw a crab. Nope. Um, maybe that's why I like to make them out of metal magic so much because I've never <laughs> seen one for real. Um, okay, so eyes, I digress guys, sorry. I really wanna go to the beach. Um, okay, so I rolled out some circle eyes and then just kind of smushed them a little bit to flatten them out. Those are gonna go right on the top, just like that. And then I did the same thing with my black, except I didn't really smush them because I wanted them to kind of stand up, okay? So I got my crab, how cute is he? Now I'd let him dry a little bit more, but for time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and start to build my diorama. I've got some sand. This, now if you do go to the beach, this could be a fun thing to bring some sand back. Um, and I'm gonna just fill up about half of my dish with sand. And I'm gonna kind of layer it up like that, so it's got a little bit of a hill. And then the other half is gonna be the ocean. So my crab is gonna kind of be sitting on the beach. He's gonna be chilling, right? Getting a little suntan. And then I went ahead and made some fish. So out of my orange and my yellow model magic, just molded some fish. And then I am deeply afraid of sharks. I don't know if anyone else is afraid of sharks, but I am too. I've never, thank God, seen a shark either. But I made a shark fin and I'm just gonna put a little glue on the bottom there and I'm gonna glue that to my dish. You can also glue in your fish if you want. That there. And then if you do, oh, and don't forget, we got a little starfish. It's gonna be up on our beach. And then if you do go, you can always grab like a seashell. If you find a seashell, you can bring back to that and put that in as well to just add to it. And then have your kids name their beach. So I'm gonna say my daughter's name is Lily. So I'm gonna do Lily's Beach, all right? And so all I did for this was I took a popsicle stick, cut it in half, and just added some construction paper to it. I can stick my sign in there, and I have this super cute little beach diorama um, to either, you know, pretend we're at the beach or relive those fun beach memories. Okay, if you wanna go really all out with it and do the whole ocean, check out this one. So I had a little fun making all the parts of the ocean with model magic and this is white model magic in the back that i painted and then i used some of the crayola project metallic markers to add some little wave lines to it we got our turtle i mixed in some seashells made my little um construction paper fish that are hanging from fishing line so you can really challenge your kids if you want to give them something to do that's going to take a while <laughs> you can challenge them to make a whole diorama in a shoe box so all right that's craft two to kick off summer, you guys ready for craft three? We saved the messiest for last. So this craft three is definitely something you'll want to do outdoors, okay? I'm giving you my, this is a messy craft, but it's fun. It's real messy. Do it outside. Trust me, have the kids put on clothes they don't care about, but do it outside. You're going to need a plastic cup, okay? You're gonna put um, paint in regular plastic cups. So depending on how many colors of paint you wanna use, you'll need that many um, cups. We are using the washable tempera paint. Um, this is great, you could just use regular washable paint as well. Use washable, cause it's messy. Kids may get it on their clothes. Use washable paint. We're gonna talk about how to prep the paint in a second for this, but we're gonna make some really cool splatter art. Um, so what I did with this one cup was actually poked holes in it. So you can use, this is obviously a parent's job, but you can use pliers, uh, maybe some of you do vinyl crafts and have like a weeding tool, something that is going to help you poke through this plastic cup. I went ahead and poked holes on the bottom and then also holes on the side. You wanna make sure that your holes are big enough that the paint will easily flow out of them, okay? So that is how you prep your cup. You're also gonna wanna put some holes in the top because we're gonna need to hang this cup. So we're gonna put string through it. I'm gonna show you one that's done in just a second. All right, so come on over here. We've got a ginormous box. Okay, so check out this big old box. 
Um, any type of old cardboard box will work. And then we've got a piece of cardboard that came out of wrapping paper. So it's one of these craft tubes that's inside your wrapping paper. Based on how big your box is, you want to use a craft tube that's wide enough to sit across the top of it. So if you're doing a smaller box, you can use a smaller one. But I've got one from a, a tube of wrapping paper. So you can see my cup and you can reuse this cup. You can tell I've reused it because it's got some paint on it. You just wash it out. But you want to tie the strings on the inside so that it hangs and then tie a knot at the top. Okay, inside of your box, you want to have a, I have a tray to make it easy to get my piece of paper out. So I've got a large piece of construction paper. You can use cardstock, poster board, canvas, really anything you would normally paint on. But I use a plastic lid so that I can easily grab it out. So it's nice to put something else under there. You can also just put another piece of cardboard so you can get it out because it will be pretty messy in there when we're done. You wanna have a second cup that is going to just kind of hang before we get started on our artwork to catch any of the initial paint that's coming out. Okay, I know this is crazy guys and it seems like a lot, but it's really fun. Um, so take your paint. So check out this paint. You want to water down your paint. So just add water to it so that it's thin enough so that it's really runny because you got to have it run out of the holes in the cup. So you can kind of see how when I use my popsicle stick, it literally just runs right off. So you can do as many colors as you want. We're just doing two. So what I'm going to do first is I have my secondary. This is kind of my catch cup. I'm going to go ahead and pour paint into my cup. And I'm doing both colors at once. I'm going to set these here. And then I'm going to move this quickly around my box. And then I'm going to swing my cup to make a design. And so you can do as much or as little as you want. And then when you're done, bring it back over to the edge. And you can put your catch cup under it. And then you can always reuse the paint in your catch cup. So um, check this out. I'm going to lift this up so you guys can see it but you can kind of go as much or as little as you want. Now the paint is really watery, right? So you're gonna have to let it dry, but what I recommend doing, you're doing this outside when it's sunny. So set it out in the sun. It'll dry in like two hours. Um, so check out what it looks like once it's, whoops, once it's dry. So I've got a canvas here, and then I've also got some sheets of paper that we did it on. So you guys can see in the canvas, we did three colors. So you can have fun with this and you can reuse that cup as many times, just literally take it inside or outside, hose it out, rinse it off and you can keep reusing it. But this could be something fun for the kids to do. And the paint goes a really long way because you water it down. So you literally can just keep taking the pieces of paper in and out. All right, that's a messy one. I don't usually give you crafts that are that messy, but since it's the start of summer, I thought, why not get outside? make a mess and have fun. Sometimes I have the most fun with my daughter when we just make an absolute mess. It's, you know, not the best to clean up, but we have so much fun. So, all right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. To recap, we had, we started with our fireflies. If you miss them glowing in the dark, um, you can always go back and rewatch this um, and fast forward and rewind, but we did shut off the lights to show you what they look like. So they've got um, little tea light candles inside of them. So that was just sitting on it. And this one is glued inside. Um, so they flicker and glow like fireflies. And then we made little beach um, terrarium slash dioramas, whatever you'd like to refer them to, um, to get ready for some fun, either pretend summer vacations or real vacations. And then we finished it off with our messy splatter paint. As always, guys, I had so much fun crafting with you. If you love the crafts, please let me know in the comments. Um, I will answer any questions that you have. And if you've got friends looking for ideas, um, feel free to tag them below or share this to your page. And don't forget to check out Crayola.com slash crafts. There's tons of craft projects for all ages to keep you busy. And when you do make these projects, share them using hashtag Crayola crafts. All right, guys, I'll be back soon with more crafts you can make at home with your family. Be kind, inspire someone, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.